Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what up YouTube, 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 Bro Talk 1000, and I'm back at y'all with another video. Thanks for rocking with the channel, man. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for helping me reach a thousand subscribers, man. You guys are the best on YouTube, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I had a little bit of setback, man. I had a little back injury that I was dealing with, and I appreciate y'all for being patient and um you know basically working with me through that man but now we're about to get to some more videos so let's get it popping man bro talk 1000 all right so look we got this fight coming up man <clears throat> and um this fight is coming up right now as i'm doing this this is uh sunday right the fight is on saturday man we have six more days to go this is a very highly anticipated fight there's been a lot of build up to it. I mean, the fight doesn't even need build up. This is a fight that has built itself, man. It's a big fight. It's a mega fight. This is uh, this is Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis. This is Mike Tyson. This is vintage, vintage Mike Tyson fights right here, man. You know how how everybody used to tune in and and show up to any fight party, any fight event where Mike Tyson was on. It's the fight, you know what I mean? And we about to watch the fight, about to watch the fight. This is back, this is that right here, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm waiting for it, bro, I can't wait. I, I can't lie, I'm a boxing fan, I'm a boxing head, I'm a boxing nerd, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this fight intrigues me in ways that I haven't been intrigued in a long time, man. So I hope you guys are just as excited for the fight as I am, but let's get right down to it, man. So what I wanted to talk talk to you guys about was um basically, man, I'm getting like uh Jack Reese has changed my mind in a way. You know what I mean? Uh I thought that, you know what I'm saying? I thought Deontay Wilder won the fight, and I still think he won the fight, but Jack Reese has with his controversial decision, his controversial, uh, the way he basically woke woke Tyson up, Tyson Fury up from the dead. I mean, he brought it back to uh, credentials. It comes to credentials. And there's a lot of things that I didn't know about Jack Reese that I now have a different understanding for about what he was talking about, man. And um, it makes a lot more sense now. The stoppage makes a lot more sense, but it's still, I still don't 100% agree with it, but let me just explain my explain my take on it. All right. So basically, shout out to BT Sports. Uh, they've been doing a hell of a job covering this fight. They've been doing a hell of a job, very thorough. You know what I mean? Very consistent with all of their... Uh, with everything, man, the interviews on, on, on YouTube, the interviews, man, it, they, BT Sports Boxing has been 100, especially for the build up to this fight. So, uh, what, what Jack Reese, who's the referee for the first Wilder Fury fight, and by the way, I've been trying to do some research on who's the referee gonna, who was, who's the referee gonna be for the rematch, and I can't find it anywhere. So, they may be trying to hold out on that information. I looked like today. I was searching it out before I done before I did this video. So um, I can have some info for you guys. But I don't know who the referee is going to be. It's going to be a surprise, I guess. <clears throat> but so Jack Reese, man, you know, he said that this was the first big fight in Cali in 21 years. All right. So. I don't know, the uh, first big heavyweight fight in Cali, California in 21 years. So I guess maybe the last one might have had to have been in 21 years. It had to be Mike Tyson. That was his era, you know, when uh, heavyweight fights were big. So, and he said, um, so uh, he, uh, Jack Reese, the referee, he refereed for four of Deontay, Wilder, Deontay Wilder's fights. And he's never refereed for Tyson Fury. Which I found interesting. So he kind of knows Deontay Wilder, knows his habits, knows his temperament, you know, and picks up on things that he does in the ring, whatever. Not that big of a deal, but cool fact to know. 
Um, and he said himself he didn't expect it to go the distance. He said he was surprised by Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury's boxing ability. And you got to take it like this, man. A guy at 6'9", 6'9", uh, 254 pounds. I think he weighed in at that, that first fight. That's a big dude. You know what I mean? And he wasn't like chiseled or in shape or nothing. He was kind of flabby and fat. He's a weird looking guy. He just looks weird. It looks awkward. Um, but the way he was moving and the way he moves, the way he's motivated, man, it, it's very impressive to watch. Watch a guy so big uh, and so, you know, that can that can maneuver and move around that way and box, you know, all 12 rounds. That shit is amazing to watch, bro. You know what I mean? I'm a Deontay Wilder fan, but that don't necessarily mean that I'm a, a Tyson Fury hater, okay? A lot of people get that construed, misconstrued, like, okay, because I like Deontay Wilder and they're fighting each other, I have to hate Tyson Fury. And that's not the case. I give Tyson Fury a lot of props and a lot of credit for his boxing ability, all right? So, um... And he said, surprisingly to me, that he thought Deontay Wilder won the first four rounds. Because I sure as hell thought Deontay Wilder won the first four rounds. I thought he won the first four rounds. Um, the referee, Jack Reese, was like, you know, he's up there and up close and personal. He wasn't scoring a fight because he's sitting there watching it as a referee. But he said that he thought that uh, Deontay Wilder won the first four rounds or was one of them. He was effective, aggressive. You know what I mean? Like, basically, he's pushing the action. He's trying to make the fight. And Tyson Fury is basically looking like he's trying to survive and trying to not get hurt. And that's kind of what I saw. But, you know, you, you're going to get a whole bunch of different opinions on what you saw, depending on who you ask. And that's cool. That's boxing. It is what it is. You know, but uh, Jack Reese did say that he he had his scorecards different. He thought that Deontay, uh, he thought that Tyson Fury, I'm sorry, getting confused here. He thought that Deontay Wilder won that, won the first four rounds, all right? He said he knew it was close, but he didn't know who was ahead, right? So, uh, what he also said was in the late rounds, um, he's more focused. He becomes more focused in the late rounds. And he tries to give, he uh, he went and told in the championship rounds, all right, which is rounds 10, 11, and 12. He goes to the corner and he tells him, hey, man, this is the championship rounds. You guys are champions. I'm going to give you both. I'm going to give you every opportunity to get up, to get hurt, because, you know, strange strange things happen around that time, okay? Um, when you're fighting at that magnitude, man, you get at that higher magnitude and you get that uh that deep into a fight people get fatigued people get tired people start getting lazy sloppy mistakes happen people get knocked out so he said if anybody gets hurt or whatever i'm going to give you an opportunity i'll give you the benefit of the doubt and basically count you out count you up and let you you know redeem yourself if need be and credit to him on that because he did do that he did give you know Tyson Fury, but we'll get to we'll get to where my my concern is about it a little bit later on. Alright. Uh, but he did say that he will give them, he told both fighters he'll give them every opportunity to get up or to prove that they were in good condition to fight. Good enough condition to fight. Alright. And uh but Jack Reese also, man, he was pleased with his own performance. You know what I mean? He said that. Um, he said that he wasn't really involved in a fight. You know what I mean? He said, basically, you don't like a referee that's always breaking it up in the middle. Oh, break it up, break it up. Stop this, stop that. Oh, stop doing this. Stop warning, warning fighters and shit. Jumping in the middle of a of a classic championship fight for no fucking reason. We don't like that shit. And credit to Jack Reese because he wasn't. You know, he said. Basically, the only time that I was really a factor in a fight was in the ninth round when Tyson Fury got knocked down and in the 12th round when he got knocked down. That's the only time y'all saw me. You know what I mean? So credit credit to him. I, I give him that. And he said it was the best decision that he's ever made in his boxing career for himself. And that I also have a little, man, you know what I mean? I don't, 
agree with that quote right there. He said that that was the best decision he made to let Tyson Fury. It, it, it was, but it wasn't at the same time. So I understand what he's saying, but I don't agree with it 100%. And I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, so also, man, on, on a deeper note, what I didn't know about uh about the referee jack reese what i didn't know was that he was a fireman for 31 years with the los angeles fire department he was an emt and he was a captain on a uh, paramedic engine for uh 21 years that's crazy i didn't know that and he was a referee for 21 years well at least at that point to that fight the fight was what a year ago or so or so and and he was a he was a uh a paramedic in the referee for 21 years so that is the thing that gave me a different type of perspective okay because at this point mm, excuse me he started speaking facts okay and you can say whatever you want you can feel however you feel but emotion don't really mean shit to me i like facts all right I like I like credentials. I like when 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 an expert is able to bring their opinion and can you know explain some shit like you know what I mean with facts and back it up. And that's exactly what Jack Reese did here. And I'm going to explain why he kind of changed my mind. See, when when you're a uh when you're an EMT or when you're some type of uh paramedic or somebody who deals every day daily with human trauma and, and and things like that you know what i mean you can i know referees get certified to a degree to be a referee okay they i'm sure they get like some type of cpr training even though they're not like they don't have to do that we have ringside physicians boxers boxers have ringside physicians and doctors on the sidelines that come through you know if something goes astray uh and people have you know health issues or whatever the case may be they have professionals for that and i understand that all right but at the same time referees do get some type of training to know what to look for when a ref um when a fighter is hurt or when a fighter is you know what i mean looking like he can't continue they, they're trained to know the difference all right but he said something very specific and he said if you noticed in a fight and i'm not quoting anything this is all paraphrasing i just i watched the video you know and, it, and i had to do a video on this because it was very intriguing to me okay he says tyson tyson fury's uh his right foot uh was holding up and he was uh holding it up on his own Right, so basically when he got knocked down, everybody seen the knockdown, boom, the right hand caught him, left hook put him down, but his right foot was kind of like up. And he said, when that happens in a, uh, in a, uh, like, like if he pulls up to a scene, he's a paramedic, he's a firefighter, I'm pretty sure he's seen plenty of that, okay? When you walk up on a scene like that and you notice, that's something that, you, that you're subconsciously trained as an emt to to recognize like, okay he's all right you know what i mean we're gonna go ahead through this scene and and find who else is not 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 okay because this guy he's okay right here we'll come back to him but let's find if we got any more anybody else hurt so basically he seen tyson fury was like okay with and and i didn't notice that but that it makes total sense you know basically he was holding up his own his own uh foot and it wasn't like underneath his left leg is what he said. Like if, if he would have been like slumped, like basically as we call it, you know what I mean? You get hit, you get slumped. You know, your right foot is just under your left foot or your left foot under your right foot. And you just like, you know, but he, he felt that basically to make a long story short, that Tyson Fury was cognizant, cognizant. You know what I mean? He was, he was ready to go, not ready to go. He was knocked out, but he was okay. Um, and that was, I found that very interesting. And he said that, uh, you know, so basically with that being said, he was taught to always give, give a, a champion, you know, uh, the benefit of the doubt. And I agree with that, you know, basically, 
you got to count the champ out. And I agree with that. I agree with Paul, Paulie Malignaggi on that. I agree with Jack Reese and anybody else who says, man, you know what I mean? You give them a count, right? So, so when it comes to the whole, because my first take on the whole thing was, look, he basically stood over. Tyson Fury gets knocked down. Jack Reese moves Deontay Wilder to his other corner. Okay. Jack Reese then looks over at the referee at the, you know, the referee outside who's, who's keeping the count of the knockdown. And I believe he or she was at four by the time he looked at it. Right. And he said something interesting. He walked up to Tyson Fury and Tyson Fury, as soon as he, as soon as Jack Reese, the referee bent over to kneel down to make sure, you know, to, to start the count, uh, Tyson Fury glanced at him over to the right, right? His eyes went like, whoop, to the right. He was like, okay, yeah, I see you, Connor. You know what I mean? And then he got immediately up by like five. You know, so Jack Reese is like, oh, damn, I don't think he's gonna make the count, but shit, I'm, I'm gonna count anyway, which I agree with. And I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. My first take on the whole thing was that most fighters, I mean, most referees would stop the fight at that point. Right? I believe that most fighters, uh, I keep saying fighters, please forgive me. Most referees would stop the fight at that point. Soon as you see a fighter slump the way he got slumped, eyes rolling back in the head, basically knocked out, wave it off. Ben Davidson, uh, the trainer, Tyson Fury's trainer, did a did a video also on BT, BT Sports. And he was like, you know, he had to separate himself from the friendship that he had with Tyson Fury because if he was still in friendship mode, he would have threw the towel in. Save my friend. But Jack Reese, being a... a, a, a professional dealing with trauma you know what I mean dealing with uh with dealing with these type of situations all the time he knew what to look out for all right he knew what to look out for he knew exactly what he was looking for and I mean when it comes to another man's profession look I can't tell a firefighter how to do his job I can't tell a, a, a cop how to do his job. I can't tell a, an accountant how to do his job. You understand what I'm saying? That's the aspect of it that, that he brought to me. And when he was telling the story, when he was uh, explaining his side of the story, like it felt so genuine. I never heard him really explain it. I heard him like one time, I think it was like directly after the interview after the fight and he, he kind of made like it was like snobby like well you know i did what i wanted to do i did what i had to do for the what do you say for the for the sport what was best for the sport and whatever all that bullshit that i was like nah bro nah 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 but when he explained it this way and he bought credentials and bought receipts i was like well you know what i can understand his point a little bit better you know what i mean that's all i'm saying I, I said I, I can under I can understand what he's saying a little bit, and so another point that he made was he said in the old days, right? Um, basically they used to have the fighters. Basically they used to have the fighters walk forward. Everybody remembers this, right? All right, come to me, walk to me, right? Hold out the uh, fighters will hold their gloves out, and he would be like, all right, walk walk forward, walk to me. He grab his gloves, make sure he's okay, look at his eyes. Make sure he's on steady legs. All right, go ahead and fight. But a point Jack Reese made was that the commission, the uh, not the commission, but the ringside phys physicians told him, like, all right, look, any any drunk person could fake a, uh, you know, walking two or three steps forward to prove that they okay. You know what I mean? Prove that they're good to drive. You know what I mean? So basically, a fighter could do that if he wants to just stay in a fight or yeah, walk forward, boom, boom, boom. Anybody could fake that. All right, now go ahead. 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's probably true. But here's where we get a little bit gray. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you guys all the good points because I want to get them out the way first. I want, I don't, because I don't want anybody saying that I'm a hater or I just wanted Wilder to win the fight. I'm trying to be as transparent and as clear as possible. So he's saying that the ringside physicians nowadays tell him walk left, walk right. Now come to me. Are you ready to continue doing all of this and all of that? And 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 then you determine whether the fighter is good to go and you let him have at it, all right? And he basically said that that's evolution. You know what I mean? That's the evolution of sports as it is today. Hockey is different. This is Jack Reese. You know what he's saying? Hockey is different now. Uh, football, there's no more head-to-head -head, uh, helmet, helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. You know what I mean? You got to be careful and it's for the safety of sports. And I understand that as well. I understand that I'm all about keeping fighters safe, but he said you got a, a, a fighter like Deontay Wilder coming at you, and you know Deontay Wilder is wild and crazy, bro. When it comes to the finish, he's trying to finish you off, right? And, and and that's that's what Deontay Wilder does, and we know that. But here's where I have the problem with all of that. This is why none of that shit is actually okay all right because first of all yes you do care about the safe the fighter the fighter's safety you care about the fighters safety all right but the fighter is not like your child bro like he's not your he, so if you care about the fighter so much where you're trying to protect them it was kind of like contradictory what Jack Reese was saying. He cares so much about the fighters, he had to watch them. Because another thing he said was, well, if I would have just let Deontay Wilder, if I would have just let him get up and let Deontay Wilder come at him or let this tornado, as he said, that was a quote, this tornado come at him, you know what I mean? Then he would have been hurt and this and that and that. And then everybody would have been mad at me for letting him get hurt. Well, no, everybody would not have been mad at you because this is what we pay to see. You know what I'm saying? As savage as it sounds, this is what we pay to see. You're not there really. You're there to, to, to protect, a, keep a fighter safe to a degree. But I mean, these are people throwing punches at each other's heads. You understand what I'm saying? Though we, we understand that a knockout could happen. You know what I mean? So there's a little bit of a gray area there. Like you're not really there to protect the fighter, bro. That was kind of that, that that's that's kind of shaky. It's a little bit shaky, sketchy when you say shit like that. Like because okay, so Deontay Wilder knocked him out or knocked him down. Everybody thought he was out. You get on top of Deontay of on top of Tyson Fury, you start counting, right? You basically like, it's like you're yelling in his ear. You're bending over on top of him, trying to wake him up. Everybody can see that shit clear as day. If you're not a freaking, if you're not, but it was just weird. It was like, what are you doing, bro? You get on top of him, start screaming, making sure because you said, oh, it was loud in the arena. I wanted to make sure he hears the count. All right. Why? Dude, you count. If he not hurt, he gonna get up. He know he's in a fight. He know he got 10 seconds, a, a 10 count to be on the floor. It's not your job to wake him up and let him fit and make sure that he finishes the fight, bro. That's not your job. And that's what you did. Jack Reese, you got over on top of him, right? You counted slow as shit. You made, you made sure the dude got up. When he did get up, now you're talking to him and, 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 and waving up. Take, for example, the Canelo Alvarez and, and Amir Khan fight, all right? That last, that last fight, those are two credible fighters. You know what I'm saying? At the time, you know, Amir Khan ain't shit, but at that time, he was a credible fighter. And Kenny Bellis was like, yo, all right, no. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got freaking, you're getting, not, uh, not Canelo Alvarez, it was uh, Danny Garcia, right? You're getting knocked silly around the ring, left and right, bro. 
you're getting locked, knocked silly left, left and right around the ring. Why do I need to let this continue? They, uh, Amir Khan gets up and he's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And he looks at it and, and Amir Khan walks forward. He's like, yeah, I'm fine. Kenny Bayless waves it off. That's protecting a fighter, bro. That's protecting a fighter. Not like, oh, I'm going to get up and let you take more freaking punishment. Just make sure that you get up because I'm going to give you a chance to win and take extra punishment. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a really gray area, man. Like, it kind of makes me think like Jack Reese may have had some money. You know what I mean? On Tyson Fury winning and wanted to give him them extra 10 seconds, man, because it was a long time. It was a long time between the walk this way, walk sideways and walk this way. You know what I mean? And not to make this video too long. I know I'm already yapping on, but I mean, you guys got to feel me on this one, bro. You got to feel me on this one. Like, yo, Jack Reese, he basically woke dude up from the day. He woke him up. If Tyson Fury didn't see you like standing over there, over him, breathing, who does that? Like what referee gets down? Only time really referees get down on their knees and get into a fighter's face is when they're pulling their mouth, uh, mouth guard out because they've been knocked out. They get down over top of them and call in the call in the ringside doctor. Like, yo, come in, come in the ring. That's the only time they do that. But he actually went over him and was in his ear. Five. Six, like making sure he heard the whole count. Then Tyson Fury looked at him like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, this is my cue to freaking get up. I mean, it was just, it was just way too, that was just way too much. But in hindsight, right? Cause hindsight is always 2020, as they say. Shout out to Jack Reese for that, man, because now we have another highly anticipated fight coming up. This is one of the uh, most anticipated fights in boxing in the, uh, in the uh, recent generations and I'm looking forward to it I can't wait you know of course I'll be rooting for my homeboy Deontay Wilder you know what I'm saying I think he won the first fight um like I said shout out to BT Sports Boxing they have been doing a hell of a job being consistent and being very thorough in the interviewing process you know what I mean? Getting these stories lined up, man. I really appreciate them, man. But I just found this Jack Reese situation very fascinating. It was fascinating to me because as he's saying it, I'm like, damn, I never thought of it. You know what I mean? Like that, like he has a very intimate perception of what's going on, of what was going on, on in the fight. You know what I'm saying? He's right there. He's right there. So he has a different take. And we don't know. We see it from TV. Judges see it from ringside. But the referee sees it from right, right in there. He sees exactly what's going on. All right. So that was, I, I found that to be very interesting. And um, he kind of almost, almost changed my mind about what I was looking at. But then again, I'm watching and I'm like, nah, 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 no. No, that fight should have been waved off. Most most referees would have waved it off. And not because they're trying to be at the next fight and trying to win brownie points with other people, but for actually for the safe for the safety of the of the other fighter. You understand? So I mean, what do you want to what do you do? Do you give credit to the guy for stopping it when he did? Or do you criticize him for stopping it when he did? I don't know, man. Y'all let me y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, man. It's kind of weird. It's bittersweet. It's like I give it, I, I give you credit for that because now we get this wonderful uh rematch. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you robbed Deontay Wilder. Of a, of a knockout victory. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What's your take on it? 
Shout out to Jack Reese, man. He did a hell of an interview. Shout out to BT Sports. Shout out to all my YouTube subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for thank you for rocking with the channel, man. I hope y'all come back. It's late. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I took like about 1,600 milligrams of Motrin for my back. So I'm a little bit wobbly, wobbly, what up? Wobbly, wobbly, what up? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's your boy. Broke Talk 1000. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.